morning and welcome to the Colorado Rockies minor league affiliate whip around. I am Aaron McBride. You can find me at Blake Street Banter on all the socials and find all of our stuff, BlakeStreetBanter.com. First up, there are no transactions, nothing new today. Uh, Jimmy Herrera, no, no, Nolan Jones played yesterday for the Albuquerque Isotopes, who did win, beat the Space Cowboys uh, two to nine. Put nine on the board, which is always good. And that's a big thanks to Coco Montez and the hottest person in the whole wide world, Drew Romo. Montez went four for four, home run, two, a double, four RBIs, and a run. And Drew Romo had himself a day, a homer, three RBIs, and a run. Those two pretty much led the offense. They were the only two with multiple hits. But Chris Bright had a hit, had five at bats. So that back tightness I saw yesterday, not that big of a deal. He did DH, didn't play in the field, and had two Ks, but we're just looking for longevity in this, these rehabs. Nolan Jones did get the start, played left field over three. He did have an outfield assist, gun somebody out at third, which is the third time this year for an Albuquerque, Albuquerque isotope. Hunter Stobel came in in relief, quote unquote. Uh, Sam Hilliard had a hit. Aaron Schunk had a hit. And then Julio Carreras and Grant Levine each had a hit themselves. Romo Montez are the ones that home runs. Yep, we already know that. Stolen base, Julio Carreras got two, which make, gives him 12 on the year. And then Grant Levine showed the wheels when he got his fourth stolen base of the year. Carl Kaufman was dealing through two, had some hiccups in the third, gave up home run, gave up some traffic, but went four innings, three walks, two Ks, one earned run, and four hits. So seven base runners across those four. Not terrible, uh, but 77 pitches. But it's just what the PCL will do. I guess stuff was still moving and nasty. It just, I don't know. Austin Kitchen, two innings pitch, two walks, three Ks, but zero runs. And then Michael Cook and John Curtis each had an inning of work with the strikeout, no runs. Same with Kara City, inning of work, one hit, no runs. So the arm barn for the Asotopes went one, two, three, four, five, five innings pitched, zero earned runs. With five strikeouts. So not a terrible outing by the arm barn there. Next up is the Hartford Yard Goats, who should have just been the bouncing pickles. Lost 12 to 3, moved to 16 to 16 on the year. Uh Jared Candy was on the bump. Five innings pitch, two earned runs, five hits, two walks. So with that number is not too bad. Seven strikeouts. But he did give up two home runs. Uh, both solo shots, it looks like, which if you're gonna give up a home run, Solo shots are okay, but it's really not a bad outing for Jared Candy. Uh, how many pitches he throw? Uh, 95 pitches, 59 strikes. So I think that's probably something he's aware of and wants to throw more strikes. It's, I know I said a similar number last time he was out there. Alec Barger, the wheels came off of his hot start. 1.1 innings pitched, five earned runs, uh, two walks, zero strikeouts, three hits. So he was lights out before this. So just finally, all of that happened in what, 20, 25 pitches, 12 of them strike. So just a bad night for Barger there. So Halverson, two Ks, but allowed a hit, two hits and a run. And then that's really about it from the armbar. And Kansi Shock had point one hits, or Kansi Shock, two outs, three earned runs, three walks. So a little, not your typical armbar and performance by the Yard Goats there. But the offense had six hits. Um, Yankee El Fernandez, Braxton Fulford, Warning Burnbill, Zach Kakaska each had one. And then Nick Kent had two. Still no Zach Veen in the lineup today. We're going to cross our fingers. He's back in it today. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Hopefully it's nothing more. I mean, we didn't know anything about Benny Montgomery until he posted that he had uh, left shoulder surgery. So minor league injuries are kept close to the chest. So. We'll, we'll know more when we know more. We'll let you know. Braxton Fulford continues power streak and had a nice double his sixth of the year. Spokane, they lost as well, six to two. But the big news here is Nick Bush made his first outing since 2022. Uh, he missed all of 2023 last year and he came back through 30 pitches that first inning, which is kind of expected, right? But ended up with 3.2 innings pitched. Four Ks, two walks, only one earned run and six hits. So he really settled down, found his groove after that first inning. He looked pretty good. He was, you can tell he had some of the, the nerves going, but his stuff was still working and doing his thing. 
it's gonna be nice to have that lefty arm back in a rotation some somewhere. Uh, arm bar Franzen one innings pitched, zero K, zero walks, zero runs, 2.84 ERA on the season. And then it kind of blew up in Felix Ramirez's face. Uh, four earned runs in his point one innings pitch. But Brian Castillo and David Palermo each had two strikeouts. Castillo had three uh, in his inning of work, and Palermo went five outs. So not a terrible day for some of them, just as it's the, the kind of the, the MO this today, yesterday, was just one bad arm barn performance. Dion Jorge stays hot, now close to 300 in the average. OPS is at 750. He had two hits, two RBIs. He pretty much carried the offense yesterday. Last but not least, the Fresno Grizzlies, they get the dub 7 to 5 against the Stockton Ports. They are now 19 to 15 on the year. And that came to with the performance of the year. Yeah, I said that with even with the big three. Brian Perez, six innings pitched, 12 strikeouts. Maybe there's a little bit of a gun, sh- jumping the gun there, but did allow four in runs and eight hits, one walk. So a lot, a lot of traffic, but those 12 Ks. Are nice, nice job, right? For it, Perez, and then the arm barn combined for three innings of work, one one earned run, uh, between Bob Garner, Carmichael, and Hill. And then the offense, Aiden Longwell gets his fifth double and second home run. He had two extra base hits. Braylon Wimmer also had his a double, his second on the year. Aiden Longwell had five, four hits on the day, two RBIs, and two runs with that. Braylon Wimmer, three, and then Jake Snyder, two. Snyder had three RBIs with his two hits. And then Hinchman and Perry each had a hit themselves. So 11 total, most of them coming from three, nine hits coming from three guys uh, with the OPS of like a million. So huge shout out to them. And that will wrap it up. Rockies are hot. Stay hot. And you go stay hot. You go do something fun. Go Rocks. See ya. Thank you for watching and listening. Please check out our link tree for more content.